Hey Pebblers, Tim Helston here again. So a couple of people have asked uh, about my cutoff switch. So what I've done is I've actually wired in, so there's the normal switch for the pebble. <clears throat> and what that does is that just turns the ignition on. But it doesn't cut off things like your some of your 12 volt systems. So it doesn't cut off your light, your dome light, if you have one. It doesn't cut off your trunk lights. It also doesn't cut off your LED stuff and everything. So it, it doesn't cut off everything in the bike. I wanted a switch that actually cuts entire power. So essentially, inside the bike, there's this Anderson connector here. This one here, it's got really thick red wires, red and black. And this one here is a little bit thinner red and, wire, red and black wire. That is basically coming from your battery. So if you unplug this, nothing in the pebble works. Not a sausage, like period, dead, that's it. So what I did was I ended up getting myself an automotive switch, this one here, an automotive key thing, and I wired it up. So what I did was I, I unplugged, first of all, safety first. Remember there's 48 volts running through this, so it could give you a little zip zap and you wouldn't like it. So I unplugged this. And what I did was I took the negative wire, the black wire, and I spliced on one of the wires from the switch, goes to this negative wire that's coming out of the Anderson connector. And then the other yellow wire comes out of where the Anderson connector was connected to. There's another, basically if you see back here, see there's another piece of plastic conduit. Basically the, the power wires run through this plastic conduit. There's a piece of plastic conduit there. These are the power wires. That's from right from the battery. Don't mess with that one. Leave that one alone. It's this one here you wanna mess with. So it's the one coming from the top of the bike, up here, down. Not the one coming from the front right corner of the bike up. Don't piss with that. Just leave it alone, plain and simple. This one here, however, is my function for today. So what you do is, and again, always be safe, unplug it. So I spliced in a yellow wire from my ignition key into the, onto the Anderson connector. And then all I did was I spliced in the second wire off my ignition key back onto the other wire part of the Anderson connector, this one here. So now what'll happen is when I actually turn this ignition switch on, and I'm not gonna do it because I'm holding it in my hand and it's metal, so I don't really wanna get myself a zip zap, but essentially what I'll do is when I turn this key, turn the key, the ignition switch will turn on and it will basically connect these two poles basically joining this Anderson connector to that wire as it was before I cut it. And voila, we have power. And then when I leave, I turn that switch off, pull out the key and voila, we have no power. So that's essentially how you do it. If you have any questions, please ask me directly. Uh, don't mess with this if you don't have an idea what you're doing because it is a 48 volt system and you could cause yourself a little bit of problems when you're made when you're playing with this switch do not hold it and turn the key on now because it does spark so i actually am going to be wrapping it with uh tape electrical tape and then another set of electrical tape so i have some black electrical tape and i have some clear electrical tape and then what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to get some of the um it's called uh, the Gorilla Tape. That's the wide stuff. And I'm going to wrap once with that as well. I don't want anybody touching this thing and getting a shock 48 volts running through their body. It won't kill you, but you're going to hurt. That's going to send you, it's going to give you a new hairdo. And I don't want anybody doing that. I don't even want to do it myself. That's why I'm not even touching this thing. So that's the scoop. That's it. Out from Winnipeg. Have a great day.